that is blanket. Make sure you got backups, my friend. You wanna make sure you have two batteries when you be recording videos. Ooh, do we like the blue? The blue looks nice. Yes, you like it? I like it. Oh, we have to have some fun with what it is that we are doing. So today, ooh, first let's get some coffee. This is the second cup of coffee. Welcome back to YouTube How To. I'm your guide, Andrew Jean, and this is Tip Tuesday, where I give you the best YouTube growth tips and strategies and help you actually make some money with your YouTube efforts. A hundred subscribers. Do you want a hundred subscribers? My guess is you do because you clicked on this particular video. I have several YouTube channels, so I have grown and I don't tell people about them because if the channel is right for you as the viewer, YouTube is going to show it to you. I don't want to unintentionally attract people to my YouTube channels that aren't interested in the content. Anyway, that's the beauty of YouTube. Its goal is to keep showing you things that you want so that you stay on the platform for longer and longer. But I have several YouTube channels. I recently started a new YouTube channel and have grown now to 200 subscribers so what did i do and how can you apply this to your channel we got our timer set for five minutes so i do not talk longer than five minutes so that you can be on your merry way and apply exactly what i'm teaching you here today on the tip tuesday cheers my friend get yourself some coffee so this is the number one thing that I want you to avoid when you are starting a YouTube channel and you want to get a hundred subscribers. Heck, if you want a thousand subscribers or a hundred thousand subscribers, and it's this, your titles and your thumbnails stink. They just stink. They look amateur. Now I will tell you this, my thumbnails looked amateur when I first started. And a lot of it depends upon the type of space that you're in. Amateur sometimes works and sometimes it doesn't. What's really important to do, and this is what I do with every new YouTube channel that I create, every space on YouTube, each thumbnail in that space has a particular style of what people like. If you're in the cleaning space or the fitness space or the meditation space, the thumbnails look somewhat cohesive from channel to channel. There's not usually drastic differences across these YouTube thumbnails. When you create a thumbnail, I would put your thumbnail that you have created beside all the other thumbnails that are going to show up in search results. And how do you do that? You simply type in the search in YouTube the title of your video so that you can see where your video could potentially rank and look at your thumbnail and say to yourself, well, would I click on that particular video over all these other ones? And if your honest answer is no, girl, my love, my son, you better up your game. Let's talk about titles here really quickly. Let me give you an example of what I mean by an intriguing title or your titles just basically S-U-C-K I and G. Let's say you're on the internet and you're like, I want to know the best pens for 2022 because I am going to be starting a brand new YouTube channel and I want to be writing a bunch of stuff down. And one title, title A says best pens of 2022. But title two says, OMG, this pen of 2022 changed my life. I cannot wait to write. Which one are you more likely to click on? I'm gonna, I'm gonna click on this one. I'm like, what's so great about this pen? I wanna know what's going on. I don't, I mean, I don't like list by list, pen by pen. I wanna know someone's personal opinion about this pen and why it is so great or why it is so crappy. So not only does your thumbnail need to be intriguing and better than the rest next to it, but your titles also need to be catchy but SEO friendly, search engine optimization friendly, meaning it is stacked with keywords, but also appeals to a human viewer because that, that's what's on the other side of this, this camera right here. The combination of those is more of an art than a science. So if you want 100 subscribers, avoid creating crappy thumbnails and having crappy titles. Yes, my friend. You can make the best video in the whole world, but if you cannot get anyone to click on your video, then while well, your efforts were futile. Is that the correct way to use that word, futile? Something like that? Have no fear, my friend. You'll get better and better with practice and practice over time. Make sure you're paying attention to your click-through rates and your analytics. All right, YouTube thinks that you're gonna like this video next. Click it and let's see if YouTube's right. Give this video a thumbs up. Lots of freebies in that description box below. And if you're not interested in what YouTube has to say and you wanna see tip number one of this YouTube growth series, click it right here. See you in the next one.